Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to switch to a new window which opens up after you click on a hyperlink in Selenium WebDriver. Let me answer. In Selenium WebDriver, we have different commands like get window handle, get window handles, driver dot switch to dot window. Using these commands, we can switch to a new window which opens up after we click on a link. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have this sample Selenium automation code which is already written for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser window. And here we have opened one application URL that is uh, the sample application URL https colon double slash umaya.blogspot.com. Let me show you how this URL looks like, application URL looks like, or application looks like, okay? So once you go to this application, there is a link here. Open a pop-up window. When you click on this link, a new window will appear, okay? So when you click on this link, a new window will appear. What we have to do in this example is, I want to read this particular text. I want to retrieve this particular text, a paragraph of text from this new window and print in the output console. But that is not going to happen by default. For that to happen, we have to switch the focus of Selenium from here to here. Okay, by default Selenium focus, even though you click on a link and new window comes, Selenium focus is there still on the default window or the first open window. It will not switch to directly or switch directly to this new window. We have to make it switch to the new window and then perform the operations, whatever the operations like retrieving this particular text from the window and printing the output console and then closing the window. All these things we have to do by mentioning it. Okay, in the automation script we have to mention in such a way that we have to write some code in such a way that the Selenium focus switches from this window to the new window. Okay, how to do that I'm going to cover. Okay. So now at this location, when I open this application URL, only one window will be there. Okay, when this application URL is open in the window, only one window is there. So I will capture that window with the help of which command? This command, get window handle command, okay? Only handle, it's not handles, it's only handle, okay? Since there is only one window at this time, I will be using driver dot uh, get window, driver dot get window, Handle. Instead of handles, I have to go with handle. Because at this point of time in this automation script, only one window having this application URL is open. The window ID of this particular application URL browser window will be captured here in the form of string. String, okay, original or default window, okay, whatever the default window that got opened. Fine. I can also call it as parent window, okay the main window or main window, parent window, whatever you want, okay? I'm just, you, you can decide the name. There's no particular process for that. Once you capture that uh, parent window ID, this is actually, okay? In the string format, it is a parent window ID. Now, after this, I would like to click on this link on this page, which will open another window. To get this new window, I have to click on this link. Let me inspect this link. And I will get the HTML code here. This is a link text, copy this and simply say driver dot find element by dot link text, provide the link text and say dot click. This will click on this link and it will open the new window. Okay, it will open the new window and this is the window, okay, which got open. So now at this moment, how many windows are there? This window and this window, two windows are there. So what I will do here is I'll say driver dot uh, window driver dot get window instead of handle I'll say handles because once you click on this link another window got opened apart from the default window or parent window another child window got opened now at this moment two windows are there to capture multiple windows I have to use get window handles this will return you a set of strings okay so this is like a window IDs, window IDs, okay? Multiple windows IDs, one of parent, one of child, we don't know. 
it is uh, returning in the form of set set of window ids okay set is from java right set is a predefined interface in java connections interface set will store this window ids in a random order we don't know the first position parent window id is stored or child window id is stored in the second position whether the parent window id is stored or child window id is stored we don't know that's the problem so how to overcome that we don't know which window is stored at which uh, order we don't know because it is returning in the form of a set okay set will store in random order so we have to find it out okay we have to find it out so for that i have to write some logic here okay to find out i have to write some logic uh, i'll simply write down uh for i'll try this for for each and every window is a string string window id colon window ids okay for each and every window id will iterate this for loop okay so whatever the window id it may be parent it may be child we don't know okay so some window id for for, for one of the window id of parent or uh, child it, it is getting iterated for the first time so i'll blindly switch to that window id driver dot switch to dot window of this window id i'll give okay but i don't know whether this window id is a parent window id or child window id i don't know so what i will do here is I want to find out whether I have switched to this child window ID because I would like to read the text from this child window ID. How can I know whether the win window ID that that this driver has switched to is a child or parent? How to find it out? There is a way. Once you switch it, now you try to retrieve the title. If it retrieves this particular title, we know that it is parent window. If it retrieves this child window's title, then we know that it's the title of the, it's nothing but the child window. Okay. Let's find it out. How? Driver dot simply say after switching to one of the window, we don't know whether it is a parent or child. I'll simply say get title. Okay. It will retrieve string actual title, actual title of the window, but we don't know. Okay. Still, we don't know which window it is. To find it out, I'll write the logic like this. If this actual title that got retrieved from whatever the window we have switched to dot equals if it equals to this particular title that is basic web page title you can right click and view page source here also you'll get the code this is the title of the page copy this title if it is equal to the child windows title then we can perform the operation what operation we can perform right click inspect now this is html code of this first paragraph it has an id copy this id and here write down the code driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator of that paragraph and say dot get text the text is between the tags this paragraph text is between the tags you can see that you can see text between the tags if you want to retrieve you have to use get text command and uh, spring para text is equal to here write down system dot out dot print ln para text like this just print it out just print it out okay and after that once the task is done you just need to close this child window just need to close this uh, child window how to close the child window here simply say driver dot close since the task is already done, I would like to come out of the for loop. Okay, my task is to go to the child window, switch to the child window, and uh, retrieve the text from paragraph first paragraph text from the child window, and then close the window. After that is done, I don't have to iterate the loop anymore. Okay, so I'll simply say break. If I write the break statement here, it will take you out of this for loop. Okay, it will take you out of the for loop. That's it. Once the child window is closed. Now let's say you want to type some text into this uh, text area field in the parent window. Okay. Now the focus of the selenium is on which window? Child window. Okay. When you have break it out and all the focus of the selenium is on the child window because it has retrieved the text from the paragraph text from the child window and it has closed the window. 
So definitely the focus of the selenium is on the child window. Now, to perform the operation on the parent window, we have to again come to the parent window. For that, there is a way. That is driver dot switch to dot window of here already in the beginning when there was only one window, I captured the window ID of the parent window. Copy this and paste it here. That's it. Now, whatever the operation you want to do, for example, you want to enter text into the text area, you can do that as an ID, copy this ID and simply write down driver dot find element by dot ID, provide the ID locator of the text area field on the parent window and say dot send case, I would like to type my name into the text field or on the That's it. Now run the code, right click, run as the obligation. This is how we can handle windows, multiple windows in Selenium WebDriver, okay? This is one of the logic you can, you can, you know, create your own logic also. This is one of the logic I follow. This is child window came closed. Okay. And you see, again, it switched back to the parent window. It has typed my name and in the output console, you see the text on the child window, paragraph text on child window got retrieved and printed. Everything is happening fine, right? Everything is happening fine. This is the logic. This is the logic we have to write. Okay. When there is one, only one window, we use get window handle to capture that window ID of the parent window. After that, when you click on the link, multiple windows will be there to capture the all the windows. We'll use get window handles and uh, it will return in the form of set of uh, window IDs. And you can use this for loop and uh, you can match with that ID to see which window you are switching to. We don't, don't know because this set will store the window IDs in the random format. So to find out which window it is. We'll just iterate through the window IDs and uh, if the title matches with the child window ID, then we'll do the operation on the child window. And again, after that, we'll switch to the parent window and perform the operation on the parent window ID. Okay, parent window. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.